you know, just after years, after repetition of certain things, we come to sort of stop seeing each other and stop appreciating each other. Not for everything that we do for each other, that's great, that's cool, that's a good thing to do, but just appreciating the person for who they are. That's who you fell in love with. You fell in love with the person, you know. We fall in love with the person. And so, uh, it's just a kind of a cycle I know. It's about every seven to ten years, people kind of start to hit that place where not only are they changing, they're cycling into a whole new skin, a whole new way of being, um, you know, a whole new progression in life. But also it's about that time that people start to take each other for granted. And when we take each other for granted, our expressions of love are going to be lacking, you know, our uh, attention, how we give and show love as humans, our attention is going to be lacking. and and we feel that from each other. We're so very sensitive and so very dialed in to the relationship, to all the vibrations of the relationship, what's going on in it, you know, to each other, what's going on with each other. And so our experiences of love become, become dimmed in those times when we're taking each other for granted and neglecting to really appreciate the person just for who they are, for how they inspire you, for how, for how interesting they are to you, you know? And so it seems like love is changing over time, but it's really, it's really us that are changing over time, and it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just something to be aware of and, and to to plan for and to consciously and act, you know, actively engage in. To be actively engaged in your love relationship, in your marriage lifestyle, yes, I highly recommend that. I do. There's, there's so much to be seen in that particular relationship because you get the most close-up view you can of another person and the most opportunities to totally give and totally receive and be received. I love to think of the embrace of, of the hug because it's a double reception. It's pure love, the embrace. It's two people receiving each other completely at once, unconditionally. It's such a pure and beautiful feeling. Think about it next time you hug somebody. Total reception, total love. I know that there's so much more love around us that we could be seeing and, you know, seeing in each other. And I think in our love and our marriage relationships, that's where we practice that. And then in our, our intimate circle of family and friends, we practice it there too. But that, that love relationship, it is exclusive. It is special. And experiences that we have there go beyond words, not just because they are private and personal, but because that is one of the places, again, where we are totally out of body. We are totally living through the meaning of love, through the meaning of the we, of us, us two, we two together as one. That's huge meaning. And it's really beautiful, and it's no wonder that all of us humans are like, I want it, you know? And when you see couples that have been together forever, for a long time, they'll tell you that they went through hard times. You know, they, got, they went through those natural cycles of taking each other for granted and having to relearn how to appreciate each other just for who you are and come to a deep, deeper level of devotion. And that's why I said there's no need to be afraid. Just plan and know. And when you've been together about seven years, you know, kind of watch and see if, you know, life is changing and the way we want to express ourselves and the things we want to experience are changing. And, you know, 
renew your love, renew your appreciation about every seven to ten years, you'll know when. If you're paying attention and in, in touch with your relationship, if you're practicing appreciation for your relationship, you'll know when it's coming. It's nothing to be afraid of. I know that we see so many, what, 50% of marriages fail, people who are really trying, really love each other, they're really trying to be together and work out this marriage lifestyle. And with that much, um, what we call failure going on, you know, it's scary because you risk the loss, you know, of that comes when a marriage ends and or when a relationship of deep love that or you're living that marriage lifestyle ends and uh, or someone dies, you know, and it ends. So it is it's, it's scary, risky, risky business getting involved and exposing yourself to that possible big loss, but it is so worth it. It is so worth it, and if you get up tomorrow, I like to say that, if you wake up, you know, you have a chance uh, to appreciate your partner. If you are so lucky to have someone that you're loving, and that's loving you, that you're receiving, and that's receiving you, that you're attending to, and they're attending to you. Holy cow, you are so on top of the world. You're so on top of the world. And let yourself have that, let yourself know that, and it makes it easier to keep appreciating it. And when those times come of change, you can be conscious of it, you can talk about it, you can do it together, you don't have to be afraid. You can say, we still wanna go down the road together, we still love each other, Let's get through this time of change, however it presents itself. So, that's the best I got right now. <laughs> I get all choked up talking about it. Because I love love. <laughs> and I believe in it. You know, in the big picture, eternal love. And I can't even think that there's anything accept eternal love and then I trust that that is solid for me that's the solid ground I'm sitting on now and I want to look around at that and learn more about it learn how it's related to me and how I'm related to it and I'm so grateful for John and our marriage and all that it's bringing to my life everything that's beautiful in my life is coming from that I love you John and I'm glad to be learning about love besides such a shiny great person and I'm glad to talk to you about love too and so I'm crying so what I don't care it's you know a big feeling Thanks, Jenny, for the question, and I'll see you again next week. <laughs> Love you. Cause we